you've heard songs about him, you've read about him all your life, and that is the character Old Man Trouble. And when Old Man Trouble comes into a life, well, disasters, even many disasters, tend to come. As life unfolds, all of us suffer in some ways. An occasional visit from Old Man Trouble is simply a fact of life. It comes to all of us. None of us are exempt. But when tough times arrive, we may be forced to rearrange our plans and priorities temporarily. But even in the darkest moment of the darkest day, we must remember that God's love is with us, and that will soften tough times. It will take away the sting, and it will get us back on the track of recovery and restoration. We must never forget that God intends for us to use our setbacks as stepping stones. And the way we can do that is stepping with God on the path to a better life. When you're faced with a tough time in your life, you have a choice. You can begin the difficult work of tackling your problem, or uh, you can immediately go to God and ask God, God, I need to tackle this problem, but I don't want to do it alone. I've done it alone so many times. I want your help. And I want your help so that I don't feel defeat and that I don't feel a sense that I need to surrender. And even the smallest problems go away. The biggest problems are, are melded down to size, where you can grip onto it, where you're given the wisdom from God on how to handle it on a day-to-day -day basis, a moment at a time. When you go into life this way, you can handle small problems or even king-size catastrophes. Everything comes to pass, but God can make it pass so much easier. When we patiently endure and have faith, we will have help from God with us today, and God will be with us tomorrow and the next day, and we'll see true victory, better than before, better than it's ever been happening in our life. Billy Graham once said this, If we make our troubles an opportunity to learn more of God's love and God's power to aid and bless, then they will teach us to have a firmer confidence in God's providence. And so they do. When you go through a miracle in your life, when you have the touch of God come to you, you absolutely know that you know that this is real and that it can be counted on in small, difficult times and king-size catastrophes. James 1, verse 12. God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. Afterwards, they will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those that love God. Now what this means, the crown of life, this means that your life is covered with a, in today's terms, an umbrella of God's good, where the rains and the storms will be repelled, and you'll be, you'll be anointed with a feeling of victory that leads to victory. I wish you the very best, my friend. God bless you.